Hey everybody, today we're in Conway, South Carolina at the L.W. Paul Living History Farm. It's one of our favorite places to visit and the tobacco is ready for the year. However, I've got to work on the day that they're going to be presenting the harvesting and cropping and everything else. So we said, why not come and show it before it's actually done? So you might have to put you in the work. It should come Saturday. Well, I've, I've got to do my job Saturday, so <laughs> I will not be here seeing what they're doing with the mules and all that fun stuff. But anyway, we decided to come by today and show it. And you might see it before Saturday, might see it after Saturday. But this was how it looked in the year of 2023 on August 2nd, 2023. That's the filming of this. So I might release it Saturday. So if you see this Saturday morning, you've got time to come see it. So are yes. you ready? Yes. All right. Let's go. I know. Let's go. That's a good showing of what the tobacco fields always look like. It's an old SO gas pump out here. And now we're gonna start walking through the living history farm. So that's obviously the corn out there. If you watched any videos this year, you know the corn is very, very, very popular in South Carolina. I don't know. Might have been that way. So over there, you got the sugar mill and the grinder right there. And you got the grits meal. Oh my God, they got a pear tree. Let's come over here and look at this. How interesting. We got some of these in our backyard at the house. And then over here, you got the blacksmith shop. I think that's what it is. But the start of the show today would be the tobacco. They're gonna have their tobacco heritage day on Saturday, but I got to work and probably by the time this video will be released, they've already been there and done that. So mom actually grew up in the time of the tobacco, so she always likes to come here. She grew up on a farm. This would have been the sawmill. Yes. 
Not quite sure if we've ever been here. Whenever they got the sawmill all fired up. Sugar cane. sugar cane, yes, sugar cane. All that good syrup and all that stuff comes from. And that's another word that people pronounce differently. We say syrup, but some people pronounce it syrup. So I say syrup. So. Yeah. Well, we be watching people and they're like syrup. So I guess that's where you're raised. obviously the tobacco barn. Oh, you smell it too. That bring back memories, that smell. Yeah. I mean, you don't get that. You really don't. I know, you know, I never personally experienced working on tobacco field, but I do remember the scent from my childhood. So this always brings back memories of growing up. And when the tobacco starts to cure, it really brings it back then. Mm -hmm. Because you you can't copy that. You've got all the discs, full of leaves, everything. Yep. So just in case you do not know, those are tobacco sticks. You've heard about that in the past. That is what they are. That is how they look. My grandma had a lot of them in her pack house. And I don't know what happened to them. And there's nothing hanging up in there yet, but I'm sure by Saturday they'll have it hanging inside the barn. So that would be the furnace, right? Mm -hmm. Where you put the furnace. fire in so you can heat it up. And how long would that take? Oh, about a week. Oh, wow. For it to finally cook it out. You know what it is, though? I would say a support beam. What <laughs> <laughs> do you see right behind you? They would take this stick, put it right here, mm -hmm. and string the back row. Oh, okay. I use my walking cane as a example. It's an example. But you had to have thread to do it. And you could either thread it on that side or thread it on that side. Anyway, they got them holes there. It's according to how many people want to string the back. And they got an advertisement chair one. Chair one. You want to get one out of the gift shop? Well, we can drink but, it for the for the video, right? For the video. Well, I'll show how that good southern drink is. We always try weird drinks at Lake Watery, so we might as well try one here. 
cheer wine is definitely an acquired taste, I'll tell you that. So that's uh, sometimes called bright leaf tobacco was an imported cash crop for the 19th and 20th century farmers. It took many field hands, a well-trained mule, and seven to eight months of work from seed to market. So the first thing is tiny seeds, big plant. You got to plant the beds for number two. For number three is setting plants. Number four is plowing and hoeing. Number five is harvesting leaves. Six this is topping. Here, Seven is stringing. And eight is curing. This one here is in the very top of the revival. And you had to break it. Mm -hmm. That's what they call topping. I didn't like that neither. Okay. I didn't like tobacco. <laughs> I didn't like suckering in the back. I didn't mind coughing it, but suckering it, you know. And I know I suppose they loved it. I know you don't mind coming here, but you don't want to relive those days, right? No. It's a blast from the past. Well, I just forget it. Well, she says she wants to forget it, but she still likes to come here and visit, so. I can come here and visit, and they don't cost me nothing to visit. I know. And they're not making you get out there and work either. You tried to put me to work la what was it, last year? Might have been a couple of years ago. Yeah. You showed them what to do though. I can tell you what to do. I didn't want them to get my hands doing it. She can tell you what to do and I can tell you where to go. So we're a good combination. Tell you what to do and tell you where to go. Oh, Lord. All in one sentence. That's an okra. Yeah. What's left of okra? That thing will bear the frost. Yeah, but I, mean, I don't know if they planted yes, more they than did. that. I know that, but I'm saying I don't know if that was all they had planted. No. Otherwise, <laughs> I will take it to be okra. Until October the 31st. What's the first frost? Right. It might, it might frost early. So that was field peas. Yeah. She said she did not mind picking those. What is this? I think it's peanuts. Oh, really? I know corn. I know the tomatoes over there. the smokehouse beautiful wagon too and that's the sweet potato bank over there oh look at the chickens they're coming and running hello how y'all doing I know it reminds me of the cats at home. Look at those chickens over there. They're just pecking their heads right on out.
Reminds me of the cats coming to the door. I want some food. We need some chickens. They'd be highly entertaining. But I could never eat them. We just have to use them for eggs. So, well, it's either a pumpkin or a squash, it's, no. or a zucchini, I don't know. These are the mules. They'll probably be utilized Saturday. The portal thing. Yes. Y'all so pretty. Yes, y'all are. And over here, they're saying, don't you forget about me. We can hear the pigs. How you doing? How you doing? You know, you're very large. I don't think I've ever seen a pig this big back here. They're so pretty. I just went ahead and came back over here to the pig or the hog, whatever you want to call it. It's already gave up on me, so I decided to come back over to the mules. And back here in the distance, I see the kale. The kale's 
cow's got the best idea. She's about here in the shade. And this is a pack house. Like I was telling about grandma's pack house a while ago with all the tobacco things. Yep. back there they got the tractor and another little building and then of course my favorite always the outhouse yep Some pretty big figs here. That's where your fig newtons come from. Pretty sure that's a beehive smoker. Hey. Yeah, it feels nice. Real good. And that's interesting because you always see about the fly catchers uh -huh. now over the food. Apparently they had them back then too. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, yes. They, we had plenty of flies. So that's not a new and thing. We, and we didn't have nothing like that covering them either. It's pretty cool. But you didn't eat what you took out that time. Yeah. Some thing I'm ancient, not enough. 
Well, you are a product of the 50s. So. Yeah. <laughs> the one we had was Well, fortunately, I didn't ever have to live this way. <laughs> so, I always say I was born at the right time in history. by putting them down there you had to put them on top of the stove uh -huh. but you always put them there because you didn't have to worry about finding them no. uh, all right A blast from the past. Blast from the past. So we're going to go ahead and wrap up the video for the L.W. Public and History Farm. It's by far one of our most favorite places to visit. So since we did see it, we got a cheer wine. This is on a local drink from North Carolina. Well, it's not too crazy, but you want to try some? You got anything in your cup? Orange and cream. 
And this one should be delightful. It says twist. I almost don't have any strength to lay out for her. You know, all that stuff there. You get that one too. She's stronger than I am. If not, she's got to walk away from her. <laughs> everyday moments a little sweeter and they've been around since 1909. So that's got 220 calories on it so therefore we're going to have one of these. Not bad. That's good. So we're going to wrap it up. Hope you enjoyed the little trip down memory lane. Mom says sometimes memory should live better for the if they are, <laughs> subscribe if you want to. I appreciate it. Yes. And she does too. Yes. Because we always love showing our adventures. Because you know for years I just did photography and shared that on Instagram. And then one day I was like, you know what? Other well, people's making videos. I am rather shy. But why not make some videos too? And over time I've gotten where I talk more than what I did. So I just talk all the time now but overall I truly enjoy doing the videos people either watch or they don't but hopefully they watch I know I know at least five or ten people watch almost every video and do appreciate that too so that's gonna do it for this one we shall see you somewhere else and to woo. and I'm probably gonna release this on Saturday morning so if I release it Saturday morning maybe you got no time to come if here. you if you see it and you want to come down here please do because it's very educational. Yes. If you have small kids, you need to bring them down here. So they can see, see a blast what, from the past. See what they miss. I ain't miss nothing. I, I grew up in it. I don't think I missed anything. Thank God I was born in 1980. But she was born in 1950, so she did catch some of it. <laughs> I, I think she probably called almost all of them. But I don't that's it for this one. But if I had to, I know how to well, do it. Well, you can survive if you have to. Mm -hmm. So since she's already driving away, bye. She got I know I got to buckle up, so bye.